Hi, my name is Nathan Reed, and this is my John Sankey Furniture Store app. So the application itself um, is uh, designed to be a training aid for the staff members um, at the independent retailers that sell the John Sankey products. Um, so. John Sankey has 50 independent retailers uh, that sell their, well, over 50 independent retailers that sell their stock. Um, so the brand itself was, um, John Sankey, that is, uh, was feeling that there wasn't consistency across how their products were being sold across the brand. Um, and that was one of their key, the key points they made uh, was that they, wanted a consistent way of selling their product so the application itself is is meant to inform and train the staff members at the 50 independent stores and give them a visual aid to help uh, sell the products so as you can see on the phone's des uh, desktop is a John Sankey furniture icon which has a custom icon to represent the brand itself so it's a it's a um, obviously a sofa with the initials JS so the main interface is designed to be uh, very simple with four main features training catalog news and stores so behind the scenes as on-click listeners that will um, use intents to basically go to the next activity. Uh, so in this case, either training, catalog, news, or stores. So the training. The training has a spinner of video uh, videos. Uh, behind the scenes, when a, uh, an item is selected from the spinner, um, a string for a particular YouTube video is then um, is fetched and an intent is used to um, to use the standalone YouTube player uh, with the YouTube API uh, to play a particular video. Uh, so the idea of this is um, relevant training resources could be sent um, on the app and that way when they watch the videos you know that consistent training is being done across the board um, you know brand updates any form of video could be uh, shared by this section of the app but uh, let's go to the master of uh, the master of the art of selling anything click the watch now button And that's that feature. The next one is the. Oh, just uh, just so you can see, it will work in landscape or portrait. The catalog. So the catalog uses a list view. Um, it only currently uses an array of furniture objects. Each have their own image, item, num item number and item name and description um, uses a custom adapter uh, to view to put these put the data into the list view um, this is not the ideal solution for storing the information in an array in an array on array list uh, but I couldn't get the database working um, in an ideal world I would have used an SQLite database to store this um, data um, in regards to how I probably would have stored the images, um, that was left a bit in up, up in the air because there was lots of ways that I could have done this uh, dependent on in real life I probably would have got them off an image server or somewhere like that. Um, I'm sure that John Sankey would have had a load of images on their website that I could have used. Um, but um, for copyright reasons I just used this uh, one image um, and copied it 15 uh, for each item of the furniture but it is an actual unique item each one of them is in a drawable folder 
this again will rotate um, I've created a, a, a different layout for um, the landscape so uh, there was a bit of a delay there um, that was because it was grabbing data from the internet um, it uses a HTTP request to request um, RS an RSS feed of um, John Sankey's Facebook page which I made, it's just an example um, it then uh, downloads that data into a string that string is um, actually XML which is then put into my XML parser passed into objects and then those objects are put in uh, uh, a list view so you've got a live a live feed of current news so the reason I've took this approach is because with a cup with um, XML by parsing an RSS feed I could take multiple sources potentially like their Facebook their Twitter their website um, e items on their eBay store and create a live feed of all the news within the business uh, currently only using Facebook but it's quite easy to add additional social media or web, web sources as long as they have an RSS feed implemented um, so you can scroll through for um, the news these are just test ones that I generated and it rotates fine last but not least the stores functionality so it gets the current location uh, use, so it's using a couple of APIs here the Google Play API uh, to, to get the current location um, and it's also using the Google Maps API um, what I've done is I've got the current location um, it returns that long values, I've pinned that with a marker and then put some static markers in place uh, of store locations you can click on any of these store locations get a Manchester store for example and you can then navigate to it um, I did come up against some issues whilst doing this uh, because the way that permissions are requested in newer versions of Android means um, you have to put a load of extra code in to handle the way that you uh, ask for the permissions you can't just put them in a manifest file you have to ask for, for certain dangerous permissions you have to ask the user etc this will also change to landscape or portrait that's my app